All right, well, it's the end of a fast food era in Jackson Heights, Queens. All right, the neighborhood White Castle that's been serving up burgers since 1935 is closing its doors for good tonight. Matt King was there as some of the last of the signature sliders came off the grill. We used to come here after we're partying to get our burgers. Mm. Well, late night after the, you know, after having a good time, definitely 4 a.m. Lifelong Jackson Heights residents Pamela and Veronica returned to this white castle on Northern Boulevard at a far more civilized hour Wednesday to pick up a box of sliders. I'll get five doubles. During the last few hours of this castle's 86 years in business. That's why I came. I want to get my last dumb pack. It's always a tough decision. As a family-owned business, the last thing we ever want to do is close a restaurant. But White Castle Vice President Jamie Richardson said in a Zoom from company headquarters in Columbus, Ohio Wednesday, costs at this location, opened in 1935, selling sliders for a nickel, had increased faster than sales can keep up, forcing White Castle to close this Jackson Heights restaurant permanently at 11 p.m. Wednesday. FDR was in his first term when we opened this location. Locations. While one of the oldest White Castles in the country, this Jackson Heights location isn't even the oldest in the city. That distinction belongs to the castle across from Fordham in the Bronx that opened in 1930. We used to come here with our grandpa all the time, Fridays, every week. Michael, his brother Ian, and his dad Eric braved the crowd inside in the line of cars out front Wednesday for their last yeah. taste of a family tradition. It's part of the community, believe it or not. I've been coming here for a long time. The response has been overwhelming. I'm really curious to know what is going to replace White Castle. White Castle, which owns this lot, declined to share its plans for the property, but offered all of this castle's employees jobs at other Queens locations, which Richardson says all accepted. This has been a source of a lot of great memories for us over the years. Three, four o'clock in the morning. It's going to be a shame. In Jackson Heights, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.